I'm Lacey Faye, and I live every day like it's 1958. Yeah, you had that right. I should probably zoom out the camera. So I'm bored. Um, I just found this video online on YouTube. Yes, I'm drinking Bundaberg rum. For you Americans. All right. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Bundaberg. Extra smooth. Right there. Rum. Now, I'm a Jack Daniels. Jim Beam type of guy. Canadian club type person. I have never really been a big fan of Bundaberg rum until now. This, I'm, I've, it feels like I'm, I'm sponsored. I'm sponsored by Bundaberg rum, but I'm not. Bundaberg, hit me up. Think about it. Unlimited supply for me and the boys. Well, it's all a favor here. So yes, this is an Australian icon. Tastes really good. So yes, I was scrolling through the YouTube like people do, and I found this video called This Woman Lives Every Day Like It's 1958. And I thought, hey, why not? I'm bored. is it's almost always positive. This is who I am. This is what I like and I feel like. You should do what you like. You should do what makes you feel beautiful and dress however you want to dress that makes you feel the most like you. I agree with that statement. I agree. No, I got nothing to say. I mean, do what you want. Who cares what people say? I mean, I will say, I do like the car. It's a really nice car. People will stop dead in their tracks and they'll just stop and their their eyes are fixed on her as, as we'll walk by. Imagine being in a situation right where you're in town, you're in nine, you're in, hang on, not you're not in 19, I was about to say 1920, but that's the wrong year. Imagine being on the street and you're in 2019, 2020, whenever this was filmed, I think it was 2020 or 2019, I don't know. This man, I will say, like she is fucking something you know what i mean like ha -ha. she's very good looking that's what i'm saying so this man is very uh lucky but imagine being down the street look how like modern i mean that looks modern to me i don't know imagine being that imagine seeing someone like this it's like you never see that ever in your entire life you never see a woman maybe a man i don't know but i've never seen a woman just like that. Quite well is the local pharmacy. It's called Bullet Drug, and they have a soda fountain. They have a jukebox. It makes it a lot of fun. Chocolate Sunday. Let's do it. They're getting over with Sunday. It's like let's do this. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Look at that. Look at that candy. That is literally a children's dream. And Wi-Fi. This place as well. Was I say Bullock Drug? That doesn't sound very nice. This does not look like a candy store. Look at that. I will say though that that Sunday looks really good. It's my Bundaberg Sunday. There's a new word for your Aussie blokes. Bundaberg every day. As soon as I put on the first 1950s dress with my hair and makeup done, that's when I felt like I was finally me. I found my authentic self and I've never looked back since. On a real though, like she does suit it. I don't know why I'm covering my mouth, but I feel a burp coming. Gonna come in hot, like a jet plane, you know, landing. I don't know if that's a right word for it. I will say though that she does suit it. Besides her being very good looking woman, married, lucky man, she does suit the look, I will say that. I don't really know about the guy. It just looks like she took him off the street and said, hey, let's dress up as 1958 couples and get married and something like that. He was like, yeah, sure, why not? So he did. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I really honed in on the 1950s because of my grandparents. They got married in 1955, and their stories, it just made it sound like the best time ever. Everything's beautiful, colorful, happy, optimistic. That doesn't look very happy, to be honest. I mean, I'm, my room, I mean, this doesn't look happy either. My camera and my room is dark. This isn't a happy vibe right now. But does that seem like a really good way to say it? It's like, yeah, my grandparents inspire. I mean... I mean, I guess, but like, I wonder if like her parents did as well. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't really know. By the way, that guy, this dude looks Asian. That could just be me, but he looks very beautiful. Look at that chiseled jaw. I don't know if that's chiseled, but look at that jaw. Damn, dude. We bought our home four years ago, and it was built in 1953. So we've tried to pack as much in as we can while keeping it authentic. I don't want it to look like it's a 50s museum. I want it to look like it's an authentic 1950s home that you've walked into. This is every kid's nightmare. That clock, by the way, looks really cool. I like that. I'd have that in my home. I think kids nowadays would hate this. Because <laughs> like, you give a kid Wi-Fi, and that's all they need to live. 
literally Wi-Fi, Instagram, Snapchat, a phone that is in the 1918, not 1918, 2018, and you're set to go. That's all a child needs. When people walk into our house for the first time, a smile comes on everybody's face. Maybe it's like a smile as in like, <laughs> uh, these guys, <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> you're just as cool. Um, did your grandparents give you that? Because that's really nice. It's beautiful. I don't know how they smile, but. Our 1950s kitchen, I tried to do as authentic as I could, and I think the appliances work better. It was built to last forever, that you would keep that forever, and I think so. I mean, a fridge has been running for 70 years. <laughs> it's fine. It's not stopped yet. The only room that's not- Hey, oh, this man right here is like, oh, damn, look at these cookies. I know that I'm like, <laughs> I, I, trust me, I'm not judging them. But they look like the plainest cookies I've ever seen in my life. I mean, she's happy she made something. And I guess having a 70, a fridge where that's 70 years old, that's cool. Yo, hey, hey, listen right here. She was, she is the next person in Fallout. I'm telling you. She's ready, she's ready. Vault tech. She's ready. Give her a vault. She will cook you some, ba bake you some of those cookies. Let me tell you, those cookies don't actually look too bad. <laughs> That's not decorated 50s as my son's room. <laughs> so we let him choose. It feels so normal to me now that I wouldn't really think of it as different anymore. When we first moved into the house and started getting more objects secondhand, I always thought that was kind of weird, but it just got to be so normal and now it's like fun to go to the thrift store and find something that just makes our house perfect. I mean, hey man, they're cool hats. Wait, are they in his room or something like that? I'm really confused. Um, I mean, if I had a mum and she was like, yo, dressed in a 1958 style, bro, I'd be, I would have moved out a while ago because, nah. I mean, the kid doesn't look, the kid actually doesn't mind it. I mean, I mean, I guess he, I guess he, I mean, he thought it was weird at first, but then he started to like it more. This might be the child that takes it home for the child parents. He's like, you know what? I was inspired by my mother to create a 1958 house, and he's going to keep this trend going. This front section is true vintage. One of my favorite ones I just barely found a couple of months ago, and it's actually like an early 50s, late 40s. Another one of my favorites is this one, and I love it because it was given to me by the original owner. And that's cool and all. I mean, what does true vintage mean? Does that mean it's from 1958? Yeah, I bought these shoes that are, tr that are true modern. That doesn't make sense. I mean, she's living the life. I mean, she likes it. To me, the 1950s style is wow. normal. I understand that to outside. You see those jewelry on there, man? I mean, what is that? What is these, bro? What is that up there? What is that? Okay, that one doesn't look 1958. Oh, yo, damn, bro. Look at that. Damn. Damn, look at those cheeks right there. Ho ho. Folks looking in that it could be weird, but I think everybody's weird in their own way. Everybody's nerdy about something and it might as well be something that you love. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's true. That's like hella true. I'm not like bagging this woman or anything like that. Like I've got nothing, I, I don't know her at all. But like I, like I said, I was just scrolling through. I'm hot as fuck. But no, like everyone's weird in their own little way. I mean, you might as well be weird in something that you love doing and then just do it. I mean, my weird, fetish is drinking alcohol that's not a weird fetish but i like it it's fun but what do you guys think of that video let me know in the comments below um if you want to see like more of this just random shit i don't know um comment and i'll see you in the next one peace